This is fourth grade go math. Woohoo! Yeah! And you can see that our topic today is all about remainders. Yes, those remainders. Those poor numbers that are left over. Yes, they're the ones that we just say, sorry, you're the leftover. Anyway, we have an essential question. This is our focus, our learning target, so to speak. This is how can you use models to divide whole numbers that do not divide evenly? Oh, uh, yes. It's nice when you have a number like 12 and you say, I want to divide that by four. You say, oh, okay, I could get an answer of three. I could make equal groups, so to speak. But this is when that doesn't happen. Okay, as you can see, this is an investigate and materials. Hopefully you have some counters out if you want to do this lesson with me. I'll have some counters too. Electronic, yes, in the virtual world. Of where I'm recording this video. So let's take a look at the problem. It says, Andrea and two friends are playing a game of dominoes. Oh yeah. There are 28 dominoes in the set. Andrea wants each player to receive the same number of dominoes. Can she divide them equally among the three players? Why or why not? Okay, well, it says you can use division to find the number of dominoes each player will receive. Video crew, can you give us a quick picture of, oh, there she is. There's her three circles. You can see her got her little counters. Cool. All right. Now for A, it says, it says that use 28 counters to resep, blah, 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 blah. Use 28 counters to represent the 28 dominoes. Then draw three circles to represent the three players. Well, we've already, they've done that for us here, as you can see. B says share the counters equally among the three groups by placing them in the circles. Okay, well, I didn't show 28, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag them and just count as I go. So I'm just going to keep on sharing them equally because that's what it says to do is to share the counters equally among the three groups by placing them in the circles. We just have to kind of keep track how many we have. So there's two, four, six. Now you want to see me go faster? Watch this. Pretty cool, huh? I didn't expect I could do it that fast. You know what? It's called editing. <laughs> okay, now you can see I have five in each circle. So now I have 15. Now I have 18. Getting there, but I still have a lot of work to do. Wow, now it looks like I have two, four, three, six, seven, seven, seven. I have 21, 22, 23, 24. I have to make some room here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 24. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, three more. That's going to make 20, 25, 26, 27. Oh, but look at my last one. Yeah, I can't give that to anybody. So I should have then nine in each one. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I see nine. Now it says find the number of counters in each group and the number of counters left over. Record your answer. Okay, pretty simple. So I'm going to say, so let's see, we said nine counters in each group. And of course, we had just one counter left over. Okay, following the lesson here. Hey, pretty simple. Page master. Woo, okay. Now we're coming into draw conclusions. So how many dominoes does each player receive? Uh, we already determined that was nine. And how many dominoes are left over? One. Is that just like what it said on the previous page? Okay, I guess they kind of counters there. Now they're calling them dominoes. Okay, trying to bring the, the problem alive. Cool. Think smarter. Explain how the model helped find the number of dominoes each player receives. Why is one counter left outside the equal groups? Yeah, hey, let's see. I would say the, uh, the counters uh, helped act out the situation. Act out the problem okay by placing one counter at a time in each of the three circles showed how we were making equal groups because that's the word because because we were left with 
just one counter, we needed to state it was the remainder. Number three says use counters to represent a set of 28 dominoes. How many players can play dominoes if each player receives nine dominoes? Will any dominoes be left over explained? Well, this is like the same problem with the counters. We're just saying it's dominoes. So how many players can play? Three players. Three players, nine dominoes each. Okay, will any dominoes be left over? Yes, one domino will be left over. You know, in words, and two, just speaking out loud, because nine dominoes times three players is 27. We have a total of 28. You can see, yeah, 28 minus the 27 leaves us with just that one. So the main reason is, is because we, our remainder is, is smaller than the number of players. So we have three players, but we're left with just one domino, so we can't share that one. Okay, not unless you're gonna go in the world of fractions. Now it says make connections. When a number cannot be divided evenly, the amount left over is called the remainder. Okay, sure, we knew that. Use counters to find 39 divided by five. It says use 39 counters. Share the counters equally among five groups. The number of counters left over is the remainder. Okay, well, I have 39 counters. I hope I counted them out correctly. So use 39 counters, share the counters equally among the five groups. So if I start dragging these, I should be able to just drag them. And of course, I'm gonna edit this, okay? So it makes me look like I'm really faster than I really am, okay? Okay, I started putting two at a time. I should have done one at a time, but now I have three each. Okay, now I'm gonna go really fast. Okay, I tried to go another one, but look at I don't have enough. I have two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. They all have seven. This one might look like it doesn't, but it does. They all have seven. And so with four left over. Well, seven times five is thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Yes, that's true. So for thirty-nine divided by five, the quotient is now yeah, we're gonna get seven, and the remainder is four or seven remainder four. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, is that the music? Is it the end again? Oh, another blank page. Oh, how sad. The video has come to an end again. Ah! Okay, hey, you guys, I hope you had a lot of fun. This was cool. Math, yeah, bring it on. Bring me on some math, I'm ready. Okay, hey, so great for that indie, huh? That indie, Indian Cobra? Show his face here. Oh, I thought he I just felt like he was going to come after me. You know, I was kind of scared. But anyway, my friends, thank you again. Please feel free to shoot me a question anytime. Become a sub if you're not already a sub to this channel. You guys, live long and prosper. <laughs>